All right, let's talk about the song, A Life Beyond the Dream. Got a request for it. I just checked it out for the first time today. I've heard it several times, but just looking at it to learn it for the first time today. Um, I don't really know the lyrics too well and the cadence, the rhythm of how he's singing it, but I'll kind of walk through it here. Um, starts with this D major. Kind of hammers that on. And then he's like, oh, when we were talking, goes with that G and hammers that sort of C. I didn't need to hide. Back to that D. Hammers that on. Uh, black stallions through to the A, the nine. On a perfect ride. Back to that D. Does the hammer on. I watched you open wide. So he plays it like that and then does this. That hammer on. You looked into me. Back to the D. I had to turn to the A away. Does this little thing on the A there. I didn't want to leave G to the B over D. To the F, to the E, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two. I'm letting it all roll by. I can see, I can see a life beyond the dream. Letting it all roll by. So it's that B to the A, two bars on the A. Changes keys. G, don't give up hope to the D. Don't give up hope to the A. Keep dreaming to the E. Keep on dreaming. G, don't give up hope to the D. Don't give up hope to the E. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. It starts over. We share these moments, okay? So then it runs all through it again, that entire thing, through it again. So pretty straightforward, not too much going on. A couple of cool things, you know, the D with the, that hammer on there. The G plays like this, hammers that on. You know, that's a real nice sound. You can do just the first finger if you like, but I think he's doing both fingers. Back to the D, and then when he goes that A, doing the same thing. You know, real nice. So that, and then that walk down the G to the uh, to D over B here. I mean, sorry, over F sharp. I think I called it out wrong earlier. You know, nice chord. the F to the E two and it's three bars two two three four three and it comes in before he goes to that and I'm going it all right you know it goes to the B to the A to the E oh sorry so the B two bars on the A change or key change I mean G to the D to the A keep dreaming keep on dreaming the second time through it skips that A to the E and the, when it jams it out it does it the three bars again and I'm running it all the way so um Somebody had asked me like what I would be thinking while I'm soloing over this. I loop the chord progression starting sort of with that G. Um, and like, it's unique, um, changing keys there. So over that G part, you know, pretty much G major. 
goes to that D, and like you could use D major there, or you could stay in that G major, will work as well, you know, and then it goes to the A, and you can kind of use maybe the mixolydian there, that A mixolydian, and then the E. So when it goes to that E, that's where you kind of got to shift things, and with that E, you know, I'm hearing that E mixolydian, that E major doesn't quite work so well there, but then the moment it moves to the next part of the, the solo or the jam, because it goes to this B, that's where you gotta jump to the E major or this B mixolydian. So, you know, I, man, I would really think of it as piecing it together chord by chord. So it's like G to the D, A, E, G, D, E. And then start with the E major. You know, that's all E major right there. But I would also sort of maybe think of it as that B mixolydian to the A, resolving on that E. switch back to that G, so you got to change there, you know, the G, D, A, E, G, D, E. And then, you know, B, flat at seventh there, you know, for that B mixolydian. And then resolves that E. You know, it doesn't sound as good sort of when I stay in that B mixolydian. does if I really know where to land within that B mixolydian, right? So it's like, like you can't even really get to that A, you probably land there, right? To that E. There's that A. I probably wouldn't think of it too much like that. I would sort of stay in that E major. I think that to me sort of feels like home over that. It's just begging to just, you know, do that B first. Walk down to that A, and then resolve on that E. Um, it's not really a jam they take out. The one, the versions I've heard, it's just him soloing over that, and he keeps it pretty similar. So it's very sort of melody driven, kind of around the vocal part. I can see like
back to that E. That's sort of how I would see it, you know, really, I think piecing the chords together and hitting sort of those triads, the major triad notes, the arpeggios of those chords, like when it moves to that, and then, you know, feel free to sort of move within there. But I think that's the way I would think about it. Um, there's not, it's not really an easy sort of one to just stay in one mode. You kind of got to move around to hit those really nice sounding notes, those anchoring notes that move with that movement of the chord progression. But yeah, uh, hopefully this uh, just sheds some light on it. I don't know if there's many people out there learning this song. Beautiful song. What a nice song. Trey sings it lovely. Um, uh, a life beyond the dream. So there it is. Again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, more requests, I'll try to get to them. I know there's a bunch of other ones I'm trying to get to, but all right, y'all be well.